Let's now start to install CLion. By the way, as you can see I have Windows 10, but if you have an older version of Windows like 8 or 7, this shouldn't be a problem as long as you have a 64-bit machine. So let's start by downloading CLion first and you can find CLion on this official website. Then navigate to the site and just click download. And as you can see the download just started. But please do not install CLion yet because there's another thing we need to do first. This is because CLion does not come with a known compiler or debugger so we need to install them first. But fortunately as you can see in the headline there's a collection called MinGW and it has everything we need. So MinGW stands for Minimalist GNU for Windows and by the way don't get confused by the 64 in the name. It works on 32-bit systems as well. So it has everything we need as I said. It has a compiler, a debugger or build tools like CMake. So this is the link to the official website and this is the link to the download website. So please visit the download website and click download and after a few seconds you should be able to download the executable file. After you did that locate your executable file and start it. Click next and then please select 64-bit architecture. Click next and just follow the installing instructions now. Now that everything is installed, just click next and finish it. You should now be able to find MinGW on your local machine. Just try to navigate to this folder. In my case, it is this folder. And please remember it, we might need it at some point in this video. But now we are ready to install CLion. So locate your executable file and click on it. You should then see the installing wizard. Just click next and follow the installing instructions again. And here if you like you can choose some additional options. I can recommend them and then click next and install. And in the end just click finish. Now run CLion for the first time. Click OK then. Select a theme if you like. I will choose this one and then click next. Next you should see the so-called toolchain and as you can see CLion is very clever and already detected MinGW. So if everything is green, everything worked and you can click next. Then click next again and if you are really interested in these tools or plugins just have a look at them, but in my case I just choose start using CLion. Now this window should appear and if you have an activation code you can use it. Otherwise just select evaluate for free and click evaluate. And then CLion should start. And that was it really. We installed CLion and we can now start writing programs using CLion as our IDE.